What's going on guys? Razor Rock Sicily. Today I've already loaded the brush and kind of washed off the puck, but the puck is um kind of dark brownish, at least it was dark brownish before I started lathering from this. And when you lather on the brush, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it kind of has like an almond light brown tint. So that's what we'll be using today. It's a nice um mainly what I get from this scent wise is a lot of vanilla a ton of vanilla so if you like vanilla definitely check out sicily from razor rock and then um it, it says on the so i get i get a lot of vanilla i get um most definitely some almond and then i also get like just a little bit every now and then not even after every sniff i get a little bit of uh citrus so it says it's a fresh bergamot and sweet almond over a base of vanilla and creamy woods. That's the description from them. Definitely vanilla, like I said, and a little bit of citrus, which could be coming from the bergamot. And the almond as well. All right, Razor Rock just lathers right up. Super quick, super easy. It's one of the... One of the many great things about Razor Rock, and not to mention, super cheap. All of my Razor Rock soaps were under, and I have a video like showing all of my Razor Rock soaps. <clears throat> they were all under uh, four bucks that I paid. And it's like five point something ounces, or maybe it's just five ounces, I don't know. You see, does this say? Yeah, five ounces, 150 milliliter. I don't know if that's gonna pick it up or not. But, for five ounces under four bucks. Uh, where is, all right, I'll use this today. Same razor I used in the last shave, uh, different edge. <laughs> like I do different edges. It seems like every freaking day now. This is my, uh, my JNAT on this. Frederick Herter, you know, Frederick Herter from Solingen, Germany. All right. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Woo, this thing is popping hairs. Mm hmm. I love honing just because it's fun because you're actually experiencing like your end result, which is the edge and, and whatnot. But you can get so many different, like, man. I guess it's kind of the equivalent to buying different DE blades. You know, every diff every DE blade has kind of a different feel. But for me, I don't have to toss the blade after the first use. You know, what else is nice about honing is just that. You know, you are spending extra on a stone, but truthfully... Am I saving money in the long run? Hmm. Technically, yes, over years worth of over years worth of honing, but really how much are DE blades? Not not enough in my opinion to justify the cost. It's kind of the same thing as saying switch over to wet shaving from <clears throat> switch over to wet shaving. Uh, from using cartridge razors because you're going to save money. We all know that's a lie. <laughs> I mean, it sounds good. And you might initially think that, you know, you're going to save money.
And let's be fair, you, you will save money if you're okay with just buying maybe a single soap, a single BE razor, and, and a pack of blades. Maybe an aftershave, which you probably already have an aftershave. Um, and a synthetic brush. You know, your ROI for that, your return on investment, is probably pretty quick. Um, but, I don't know. I've never gotten into a hobby that I did not drop a good bit of money on, so... This is no exception. And on that note, I have a custom. <laughs> I have a custom street razor on the way. Um, uh, it's from a well-known American street razor maker. Um, you'll get more details in you know, on the video that I, he said it should be shipping out this week. So more information on that when it gets here. So I stopped purchasing software, it seems, and I've started purchasing hardware, which is more expensive, but hardware will last you forever if you take care of it. I mean, look at this razor I'm using now. This Frederick Herter, this is 122 years old. Um, so. It's between 100 and... I found some more documentation that shows that, that, that the markings on it are between, um, was it 1888? It was, it was like 1872 and 1888, like between that. And so 1888 would be, you know, 20 years or 122 years. So that's, that's the number I'm going to go with, but it could be slightly older, but I don't want to be wrong. And continually say that I have an older razor when it could just be 122 years old. So I'll say it's 122 years old. But it could be older. But you know, I mean, look how. <sighs> My point in even bringing that up is purchasing a straight. When taken care of, just like a DE, a DE razor, you know, when taking care of it, and then quality, of course, you have to buy quality plastics, probably not going to last. But if you were to buy some metal chrome, or it's going to last, and you can give it to your children or whatever. The resale value on this as well is uh, phenomenal. This was a new old stock item. And when you're buying new old stock, you sometimes it'll say it's new old stock, and this is on eBay I'm talking about, but you really don't know what you're getting, truthfully. good old flea bay but um yeah i really loved that on this one because this literally had no markings no no issue whatsoever The only semi issue it had was the um, the ink, uh, the bevel. And that took a little bit of work 
It took several hours to get it right. And, you know, experienced toners listening to that, me say several hours to get the bevel right, were probably cringing. But my thing is, I've only set bevels on cheap, very cheap and inexpensive razors, um, straight razors, gold dollars, essentially. And this being, I don't know, 20 gold dollars worth as far as pricing, I didn't want to screw anything up. So I went very slow from my 1K all the way up to my, all the way up to my finishing stone. Went 1K, um, 1K, 4K, 8K, 10K, and then finishing stones. That's what I did. Now, most of the time, I'll skip the 10K, and sometimes I'll even go from one, well, that's what I said. I said one, four, eight. Typically, I just go one, four, eight, and then finish. But I did throw the 10K in there for this, just to kind of make it a little bit more polished. Because what you're doing when you're honing is you're obviously the higher you go, you're you're not removing as much metal, and on the finishing stones, you're not really removing much metal at all. Like my JNAT and my arcs really don't. Uh, I don't feel that they remove a ton of metal. It's more so, like I said, just kind of polishing out the previous stones marks, and. Um, and in doing so, you do get a smoother edge. So, you know, <clears throat> straight razors are kind of weird because like you'll get people that say um, they finish on 8K stones, which, okay. Like the Norton 8K. <clears throat> there was a, it was a really old post from 2012. And it said something that was very absurd to me. And it said, a, a, a low grade stone, which was like, I don't know, I guess 400 to 1,000 grit. Up to 8,000 is all you need. And someone asked what the guy meant in that post. And he was like, well, I have a low grit stone and I have a Norton 4K and Norton 8K. That's all I use to home. And then somebody, and then the same guy that asked him what he meant said, wait, <laughs> you finish on an 8K stone? Like you shave like that? And I was like, yeah, that's all, that's all you need. <laughs> okay. Now, I've never tried Finishing on an 8K stone and shaving with it, in my opinion, it would be an awful idea. I don't think that guy knew what a comfortable edge was. So, what sucks is there are probably plenty of people that were just getting in a straight to that point in time that read that, believed that, bought a Norton 4 8K combo stone did what that guy told them to do got a horrible edge on it used it to shave with a straight said oh no this is not for me and then never picked up a straight again i, I guarantee that happened from that terrible advice and that's typically why i don't like things people say on forums i do not take you know when you take it with a grain of salt i guess is the old saying and that's very true And I kind of kind of touched on that. It was a different subject, but kind of the same concept a couple of videos ago on someone saying, do not <clears throat> slurry up your Arkansas stone. Well, I'm glad I did because I get really good edges from it better than if I weren't slurrying up. So, but I can tell you the uh, whole 8K thing that dude was pushing, uh, definitely not a good idea.
So yeah, like I said, I hope everybody had a great weekend, and uh, hopefully you're looking forward to going back to work. <laughs> I know it's kind of a weird thing to hear, and even it's kind of kind of weird to say too, but man, you know, in the U.S., and I know some of the guys that watch my videos aren't in the U.S., but in the U.S., um, unemployment went very high towards the beginning of COVID and whatnot. It's definitely getting much better now, like maybe to the same numbers as it was before COVID, but still, it's, um, you know, it's still not perfect. A lot of people unemployed. Um, and, you know, I guess that's just kind of, I hate to say expected, but when you have so many people in a country, you know, I don't know. I don't know how, how much more deep in that I want to go, but, uh, you know, just be lucky if you have a job that you have a job. Don't take it for granted, I guess, is really what I'm trying to say. Because I know sometimes things are happening at work. that for sure aren't things that we, uh, I think I just cut myself there, things that we really enjoy, whether that be actual work we're doing or whatever, but you just have to remember that. I mean, obviously I'm not talking about like, if you're having, <laughs> I'm not talking sexual harassment or anything like that. Like obviously if you're in that situation, get out, but you know, it's just everyday stresses and work stuff. You know, you just gotta push through it. You just gotta get through it. Yep, I definitely clipped myself there. First time in a while that I've clipped myself with a straight razor. So, eh, it happens. It's not a big deal. Actually, in all honesty, I think I get more cuts with um, DEs than straights, really. I think when I was coming this way, I just kind of scraped the skin a little much. That's all that happened. It's not really like a cut, you know? We will put the... Oh, man, my eyes have been itching. Let's see. We're going to put a little bit of... Uh, uh, styptic on it. A little styptic pencil. We'll wet it. No, well, it looks like it kind of stopped bleeding, but we're still going to hit it. Ooh wee Oh, yeah. That feels great. If you're squeamish of blood, I'm sorry. You should probably not watch the Italian Butcher's videos if you're squeamish. Oh, yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay. So, let that sit and let that dry. Like I said, we are going with Sicily Aftershave. We're good. Oh yeah, the vanilla scent on the actual soap itself is, uh, is pretty strong. But, the aftershave... <laughs> If you do not like vanilla, do not get anywhere near this scent. And if you like vanilla, definitely check this out. Burns right there. <laughs> but we're going for a second shot because I love vanilla. What's crazy is I don't really like foods with vanilla. But the scent of vanilla I like. Anyways, that's the shave, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next shave. I'm going to kind of let the uh, the hair build up. So this will probably be the last shave you see before I get my um, my custom razor. Just how it's going to be because I want to give that because uh, he's putting the his edge on it. So 
I want to use his edge with, uh, you know, some, some decent growth, a couple days growth at least, four or five maybe, depending on when it gets here. Anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble. It's been 20 and a half minutes. See you later, guys.